What's going on, guys? It's Wombro, or is it? I hope things are well. In today's video, we will be going over something more on the darker side of things. And I'm making this video for the sake of the community safety. We are talking about how to avoid all types of related scams within Wombat Dungeon Master and how you can better learn to protect yourself from unknown users. This can also be applied to any other related type of crypto game as well. If you didn't know already, crime happens every day in the blockchain, and that's the risk of a decentralized currency. But within Wombat Dungeon Master, there are only a select few types of common scams that can happen, and we will be going over them. So, the first main common type of scam is the Atomic Hub Fishing Link scams. A user will send you what looks to be like the Atomic Hub Marketplace, but once you go to the site and you log in, you really just gave the hackers all the information they need to take all your assets. An easy way to make sure this will never happen is by connecting the Anchor app to your Wombat wallet. There is no way someone can take your data even if you were to log into the phishing site. The app is a third-party authenticator. It costs two USD, but for two USD, you will never be hacked. The second type of scam is from user to user. In crypto slang, it's called fronting. One person will ask for an NFT or crypto without anything to trade in return. The user will say they will repay you over time. Once you give anything, that user has no legal right to give you anything back. And most of the time, the scammer will block you or ignore all your messages after the front. And then the user will go into the community and act like nothing happened, which can really hurt someone's emotions to the point where they feel helpless and they have no say for anything. To make sure this never happens, always confirm that any trade you do is fair and that you are always getting something in return no matter what. Consider finding a trusted member within the museum for trading. We do have mods to govern here. The third scam, and this may be a little eerie, is Discord scams. A user will invite you to a Discord and say it's for a crypto project. Once you enter, their server will start taking all your information. They will use hidden bots to observe you and use to their benefit. There will be links that look like nothing dangerous, but those links itself are phishing and more information sucking hacks. To make sure you never join one of these Discords, consider talking to other members who are already in the server or possibly do more research. I can assure you the museum is safe in Wombro's hands or my hands. I know how to handle and moderate most, if not all, social media sites. Um, and yes, when I put my mind to something, I will do my best to take the gained knowledge I have and help other people. These three scams are the most common types of situations that happen within Wombat Dungeon Master, but new types of methods are being created every day faster and stronger. I wanted to make sure everyone that I cared about in the community was put in my Noah's Ark or just in my Discord and everyone is safe. So at this point, we will no longer be promoting the museum outside of any other place besides our YouTube channel and Wombro Prem's Atomic website. And that was today's video. I have a good feeling this information will definitely help you prevent yourself from being scammed or having your information stolen. If there are any new updates to this topic, I will for sure be updating it in the scam prevention channel in the museum. Thank you to my subscribers for supporting Wombro. Green thanks you as well. If you have any questions you may ask, I'd be happy to answer. I hope you have a safe day. I'll see you guys later. Take care.